I'm going bullfrog hunting with a budget of zero dollars and moving all the way up to 100 towards the end of the video. So you may be wondering, how am I going to catch these bullfrogs for zero dollars? I'm just going to use my hands. We're just going to grab them because like what else can you do for zero dollars? Okay, so what we're doing is just looking for frogs along the shore. So I got this flashlight right here. I want to see if we can find any. The big frogs that we want make that loud <laughs> sound. When we hear that, we know which way to go. Oh gosh, there's one that just jumped in. I'm gonna have to take the crocs off right now because they're a little bit loud. It's much quieter walking barefoot. Oh, there's one right there, big one. Big bullfrog. Check it out, we just got us a nice frog. He's not the biggest one I've seen in here, but that is a good one, he'll be a good eater. All right, just gonna pull out my pocket knife real quick, and we're gonna dispatch this guy. Quick, painless death, right to the head. One frog down. Uh, let's see if we can get one more tonight. There's another one. Oh no, he jumped away, I was too loud. Guys, I just found the big one. He's right there, that thing's a massive bullfrog. See if I can sneak over to him. No, 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 there he goes. Where'd he go? I might still be able to get him. Oh, I think I see him down there. He's under these cattails, I think. Oh yeah, that's him. I see him down there. Let's see if I can just move. Oh no, there he goes, there he goes. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this one either. Yeah, this one got away too. Man, that was a big one. There's another one right there. Pretty big one. About the same size as the one I first got. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Oh, he's still back there. He's right there. To get a different angle. I should have just grabbed him. What was I doing? Got him, yes, we got this one. That was weird. Two frogs with zero dollars. It's right through the head. What the heck, he's jumping away. The brain was literally split in half and he was jumping away. Frogs are like impossible to kill sometimes. So the reason the bullfrogs aren't jumping away when I shine the light at them is because the light I'm using blinds them. So they just sit right there. If I be quiet enough, they won't jump away and they'll just stay right there for me to go and grab them with my hands. All right, there's a little guy right here. We're just gonna try to catch this one for fun real quick. Oh gosh, I missed him. There he goes, <laughs> he's jumping away. Oh yeah, they're slippery things. They'll jump right out of your hand sometimes. Look at all that good meat right there. That is all good meat to eat. So since we got those bullfrogs for zero dollars, now we gotta cook them for zero dollars. I made a nice little fire down there and I got these two sticks. We're just gonna skewer the frog legs on there. Just like that. I'm just gonna come over here and hold them over the fire till they're done. Flip them every once in a while, that's it. All right, looks like they're done. My, the stick broke that it was hooking on. Oh my goodness, how's it still holding? Ew, that was probably the worst frog leg I've ever had. It has a nice smoky flavor, but I would give it a three out of 10. So bullfrog hunting with zero dollars, honestly, kind of challenging. Like over 50% of the frogs I tried to catch, they jumped away. So I bought this giant frog gigging spear to spear the frogs. So this frog spear cost me around $30. After I hunt with this, I'm gonna be spending $100 for our next weapon to go frog hunting with. So here it is. And what makes this one different than other spears is that it expands. So I don't know how long it is, but it's tall. Probably like 20 feet tall. So it expands out here and then it also, you know, goes back to this, which is like, I don't know, not that tall. So we're gonna go frog gigging with this tonight. Should be pretty fun. And if they're out there pretty far in the cattails, you know, I can just band it like this and reach out there and get them. So it should be a lot easier than using my hands. What the heck is that? All right, well, we're back at the pond, got the spear. We wanna see if we can gig some frogs. All right, guys, just spotted our first bullfrog of the night. He's right there. Got the big camera pointing at him. We're gonna see if we can take him out with the spear. Get him. Oh, we got him, we got him, yes. 
So the spear worked out perfectly, got our first frog. I'm covering him with my foot because there's like his head's chopped in half. But let's see if we can get another one. So far hunting with a spear has been way better. But yep, you can see him right there. It has these barbs. When I spear a frog, they don't come off. You have to really pull on them to get them off this, these barbs. So it's way better than grabbing them with your hands. Because even if you get a good grab on them with your hands, a lot of times they'll just be able to slip out of your hand. They'll be able to jump out. And it's really hard to grab them sometimes. But the spear, there it is. This is way better. Guys, I just heard one go right over here. Let's see if we can. All right, I found him, he's right there. He's right down there. All right, I'm gonna try extending this to get this frog. See if it makes it easier. All right, there we go. Now our spear is like twice as long as it was before, so it should be much easier to get him. Boom, got him. All right, so if you get a frog with a spear and it looks like he's completely dead, like he's just, you know, hanging there, still put a knife through his head because most of the time they'll like come back to life and jump away. So we're just gonna harvest two of the frogs out of here again and we'll save the rest for when we go hunting with a $100 weapon. So I'm gonna go ahead and go clean both the frogs I got tonight and I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you how we're gonna cook them. I'm gonna try to make them taste a little better because it's like a little more expensive weapon. So you know, we gotta make it taste a little more like it's some more expensive, I guess. But all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So it's the next day I'm in the cabin. We're gonna go ahead and start cooking these frog legs. So first thing I'm gonna do, add some butter. And then I got a bag of flour right here and the frog legs in this one. Just want to dump the frog legs in the flour, close it up, start shaking them real good. So after this is all shaken up real good, go ahead and put them in the pan and add some salt and pepper. And there's the frog legs, they're all done. They kind of shrink down a lot when you cook them like this. Oh my goodness. It tastes like, it almost tastes like pure butter, but it's so good. I'd give these a seven and a half out of 10. The flavor's really good. It's almost too buttery though. And there's a little, it's a little bit chewy up here. But other than that, it's re it's really good. All right, so I got my laptop right here and we're gonna be doing some shopping on Amazon. Okay, so I've got a hundred dollars to spend to be able to hunt some bullfrogs. The only thing I can really use to shoot bullfrogs is a bow, either a crossbow, a recurve bow, or a compound bow. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a cheap compound bow and let's go down here and put in $100 for the maximum price we'll see what comes up hopefully I actually have some options okay ooh first one I'm seeing 19 to 28 inch draw length 15 to 29 pounds for $89 it comes with all this I think that'd actually be all right. I think this I think this would actually be okay because like we're gonna be shooting these bullfrogs at like 10 feet away. So I don't really need more than, you know, 29, 30 pounds of draw weight to kill a bullfrog. But for now, I'm thinking we go with this, but let's see what else we got. Okay, here's this Barnet one. I used to have a Barnet bow when I was um, like 10 years old. Uh, I never killed anything with it though, but it was pretty good, I think. We could go with a recurve bow. This one's only $80. It doesn't come with arrows. I'm not very accurate with a recurve bow you'd have to be pretty precise to be able to get some hits on bullfrogs but yeah i think there's not really any other options okay i'm just gonna go with this top one the first one we picked for 9 89.99 or i could get this pro bag it's $109, comes with all of this and a case. I'm just gonna buy this so I can say I spent $100 for the last thing. All right, let's add this to the cart. All right, so our total comes to $117. Not bad for a whole bow setup. Okay, I just bought it. The bow came today in the mail. Okay, we're gonna go in and box this in and see what it looks like. There's another box. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, here's the bow. So looking at the owner's manual, it looks like the only way to adjust the draw weight is to adjust the draw length. So it's at 26 inches right now, so it's not quite at 29 pounds. But check out all the stuff that comes with it. Look at all these arrows. And there's just a bunch of random stuff that I don't even know what it is. Like I don't even know it's all in this bag. Okay, so you see the cams right here? It says it's at 26 inches, so I need to take this bullet out and move it to this one. Shouldn't be too hard, I think. I've never really messed around with bows before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Let's put this back in. Now I'll do it to this side. Pretty simple so far. I just got to unloosen the screw, take it out, and then slide it over to 28 pounds. And then tighten it back up. I'm going to see if this feels any different now. Draw weight and length. 
Okay, it's definitely better. We could kill some frogs with this, okay? This will this should not be hard at all. Okay, now I just gotta put all like all the accessories on it, the sight, and I think it comes with a stabilizer maybe. And I'm just gonna go through all this stuff. I'll just see you guys when I got this all set up and we'll do some shooting with it to see how good it shoots. All right guys, got the bow set up, got all the sights and stuff on there. It even came with this arm guard that's like pretty much useless. But we're gonna see how accurate this thing is right now. So I put up a box right over here. It's about 15 feet away. I'm gonna aim at that dot right there. It's about the size of a bullfrog. I'm gonna shoot these five arrows. We'll see how good I do. First shot. That was actually not bad. It actually has a good, a good back wall. Like there's like no sponginess in it. Okay, let's just check these groups out. Honestly, that's better than I was expecting. The last one I shot kind of went off track a little bit, but I think I could actually kill a bullfrog with this. I need to adjust the sights down and right a little bit, but then it'll be dead on. Four out of the five of those would have hit a bullfrog. Actually, the fifth one may have, I don't know, hit his leg or something, but if I can at least get an arrow in the bullfrog, I think I'll be able to recover it pretty easily. I mean, it can't really go anywhere with a 30 inch arrow stuck in it. All right, so I'm gonna keep shooting this a little bit, get it sighted in so we can go bullfrog hunting tonight with it is it going to be better than the spear the 30 dollars spear there's no way this is going to actually be really challenging to kill some bullfrogs with this but we'll be able to get it done i think hopefully all right i'll see you guys when we go on bullfrog hunting hopefully this works and we are back at the pond got the bow right here if i can just get one bullfrog with this i think that's all that's all i really want just one bullfrog just found a big one let's see if i can take him out this is going to be kind of tricky i really hope i can actually get this here we go Right over it. No. Oh, I think I missed him. Man, that was a big one. He got away though. I'll have to come circle back here, see if I can find him again. Here's one of my arrows. Oh, no, I found it. It's right there. Well, at least I got my arrows back. I just spotted our next bullfrog. Got him on the big camera already. And he is right there. He's not as big as the first one I saw, but he's good enough to eat, I think. Darn it! That was like right over. Oh gosh. Oh snap, he's right there. There he is. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, he's still alive. He ain't going anywhere though. All right, we got him, we got him, we got him. All right, I gotta put my knife through him real quick. Yes, I just got a frog with a bow. I was actually a little bit worried this bow wouldn't have enough power to kill a frog, but my goodness, the thing went clean through the frog and like 10 inches into the muck down there. So that is my first frog ever with a bow. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> that was only the second frog I've seen tonight. I'm gonna try to get another one actually. I just found that big one I shot at earlier. It's right in the center of the screen. I'm gonna use my lucky arrow, the one I got the last frog with. Oh, oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, I got him, I got him. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we just got a big one. That's the big one I've been going after. Oh my goodness, check out the shot. That's the biggest one I think I've gotten in the whole video. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. No, 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 <laughs> come back here. Okay, I gotta get my knife out before this thing gets away. All right, we got this one now. He's not going anywhere. I cannot believe he was jumping away with the arrow like that. That was crazy. Well, I'm actually really surprised it worked out this good using this little cheap bow for bullfrog hunting. I'm really surprised it actually worked out that well. So we got these two nice bullfrogs to hook up. I'm gonna try to make those bullfrogs be the best bullfrog legs I've ever had. I'm gonna look up some like five-star recipes for bullfrog legs and we'll cook them like that and see if we can actually make these things taste like five-star bullfrog legs. All right, so it's the next day. We're gonna try to make these things Things taste like five star frog legs. Not really, they're probably gonna turn out terrible, but I'm gonna try my best. So I tried to find a bunch of different recipes, but I couldn't really decide on one. So I'm just gonna try to experiment and try to make my own recipe. So first thing we're gonna do, half a stick of butter, some lemon juice, just kind of fill the bottom with that. And also I'm gonna add a big spoon of this garlic stuff. Just kind of stir that in there when it gets cooking. And for seasoning, I'm just gonna put some of this Old Bay seasoning on there. Probably not the best thing to use, but should turn out okay. By the way, they can feel all this right now because they're moving, that means they're still alive. Now that we got our sauce boiling, lay the frog legs in there. I hope this is gonna taste as good as it smells because this smells so good. And now I'll just let those kind of 
simmer in there. Let me go ahead and give these a flip. I also added some salt and pepper to them, add to the flavor, but they're looking really good actually. The meat's starting to fall off the bones. That's how you tell it's cooking good. All right, looks like they're done. All right, here we go. Let's see if this tastes like a five-star frog leg. That might be the best frog legs I've ever had, actually. I think they're a little bit underdone, but the flavor is way better than the other ones I've had. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments, should I do this with turtle trapping? Zero versus $100 turtle trapping. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see that. I'll see you guys in the next video.